waffles are like, eh? This pre-workout meal is the dream. Protein pancakes, cookies and cream. What's in there? Open that up. <laughs> Waffles. And she has waffle all over her face. <laughs> <laughs> and we go to make muscle meatloaf. Sharing the secret recipe. So, finally gonna share, stop laughing at me, <laughs> I have Sabrina behind the camera right now so she's laughing at me, but I've been posting about this muscle meatloaf and every, I don't even know how many DMs I've gotten of people asking me how to make it, and it's honestly the most simple thing ever, so today I was making one, I figured I would film it and share with you guys my muscle meatloaf recipe. Really is very simple, I do two pounds of ground turkey, and into that I add two whole eggs, that's the protein aspect, and then you can kind of season it however you want. I just put pepper, parsley, and salt. I'll go grab that in a bit. And then I throw in Frank's Red Barbecue, some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that, so you can just read that. And obviously ketchup, ketchup is life. No sugar. No sugar added ketchup because a little bit low carb. And oats kind of what helps hold it together. So we do 120 grams of oats in it all. So we just throw that all these ingredients in the bowl and then just kind of mash it up with your hands and throw it in like a little cake pan like that. And then at the end, I cover the top with a little bit of extra barbecue sauce and ketchup. And that kind of cooks on top and it's like a little sauce on it. And it tastes darn good. So get started, I just throw the meat in. <laughs> and there's no method to my seasoning. I literally just kind of put in whatever falls in, and if it tastes good, it'll taste good. I just put a little bit of this Worcestershire. Sauce in there. I'll never learn how to say that. Life. Life in a bottle right here. Heinz good old ketchup. So somebody leaves the fucking measuring <laughs> cup measure in the bag. Thing. God. No warning either. You knew that was in there. It's just fucking laughing away. Oh shit. <laughs> 120 on the dot. 120 on the dot. And this is the gross part. Or the yummy part. Yeah. Just get right in there and... Oh yeah. Turn that sound on high and just close your eyes and enjoy that. I like this way too much. Oh yeah. Going there nice and deep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was gross. Pretty much just go until it's all mixed in and you don't see any like stringy meat anymore. Or until you're just too gross out and like, fuck this, that's enough. <laughs> and there's meat all over the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> you can do the cleanup job, Sabrina. Thank you for that. And you just grab it and you throw it in your pan. 
I already panned that. I put Throw it. butter pan in there so it don't stick. You want a nice even distribution? So it cooks nice and fluffy. You're nice and fluffy. <laughs> I am nice and fluffy. Post show games are real, <laughs> but not actually. They should include too many pancakes and donuts and a lot of fluff. And chocolate bars. And chocolate bars. Never knew there was soap in there, by the way. In what? In, what? in, in that? The, in this little contraption. Yeah, there is soap. I know, I just found out that yesterday. Oh. <laughs> I was like, ooh. I was pleasantly surprised. And then the last step, you let her just throw on more ketchup. Because ketchup is life. And there's the base of your muscle meatloaf. Fucking yum. And the oven is already preheated at 350. I put it in 350 for 50 to 55 minutes. Depends how quickly I get to the oven after my timer goes off. But yeah, it gets a nice little crispy layer on top. A nice little crispy crunch on the top with your sauce and you have a beautiful meatloaf. It goes from professional bodybuilder to professional cooking cook. Get you a man who can do both. Yeah. <laughs> C'est fini. Bye. Bye.